today's video is going to be a what's in my handbag video and I haven't done one of these before so this is going to be my first time doing it. I've had a new handbag for ages and I've been planning on doing this video for a while now but I've never gotten around to it. So today is your lucky day. If you would like to see what is inside my handbag then just keep on watching and I just want to mention that it feels very heavy and I haven't gone through it in ages so this could be a pretty lengthy video I'm not exactly sure but it feels pretty heavy and I think there's a lot of junk in it because I haven't cleaned it out in a while so yeah let's just get into the video so this is my handbag and it is just from Colette and it's got cool like little zip details which you can actually put things in there but I've never actually done that and when you take this down that's actually that's a pocket there as well and then it's also just got um, like the zip compartment there and I really like it because I find this bit here that's just like magnetic clip there, I found it. I found it really handy, like just to put my phone and everything in there, um, and it just clips back up like that. And we'll start in that first button up section in here. Just gotta pull everything out. So first thing is my phone charger because I take this to work every day, and I like charge my phone at work. And I have my iPad and I have an iPod as well. And I basically just use that for um, Wi-Fi when I come home and just try and save the power on charging my phone at home because I do live by myself and I don't want a high electricity bill even though it's probably not that much by charging my phone. But yeah, that pretty much just lives in my bag because I always charge my phone at work. Then I have this piece of paper which has got... Some lines that I need to memorise because this week at work I'm going to have a radio interview. So I need to memorise these lines. I have a my iPod, no, my iPad charger in that front section as well. I have some headphones. These ones came with the Samsung phone that I have. And... These are just really good for travelling on the tram when I go to work and I can just listen to my music and also plug these into my computer at work and listen to music when I am working. Then I have some sunglasses. Everyone always asks me where I got these from. They just look like this on from uh, San Francisco, um, just at like a sunglasses store um, along P Fisherman's Wharf Pier. If you've ever been to um, San Francisco, you would know what I'm talking about. But these are like $5 and I'm so in love with them. They're really comfy and I really do like the colour because normally I just go for black colour but these are like brown. Next up I have my work keys and this is just like keys for my locker thingy and then this is like a little swampy thing to get inside the front door and I have no idea what these keys are for but these are very handy and I always leave them in there so I can just grab them before going to work. Next up I have a pen. Oh, very handy. I'm just going to put that back in there. And then I have this lipstick which is just from a Daiso or Daiso, however you like to call it. And it's actually a really pretty, like, reddy colour. And I think the packaging is so cute. It just, just looks like this. Looks like a little perfume bottle, I reckon. And that comes in handy because my lipstick always comes off. And red is kind of part of my uniform, so I always have that in my handbag just to pop on whenever I need it. I also have my red Velour lips from the Australis collection and this one is NYC and sometimes if I'm having a good day with my lips and they're not too dry I will use this 
and I really like this colour. I get a lot of compliments from my workmates when I wear this colour. And then I also just have my, ooh, almost dropped it. Yes, two carrot lip butter lip balm. Just one of these. It just looks like that. Probably can't see, but oh well, nothing important. Just a lip balm. And, oh, oh, I'm trying to work out the flavour. It is berry bays. 95% uh, natural product. So that is comes in handy as well when I'm using the Australis Volua Lips. Okay, and that is everything in that pocket. I just, just left the lip balms in there. But it's empty, pretty much. And then, going into the next pocket. Okay, so, this is kind of full, but... Probably can't see, but there's like so there's a zip pocket on one of the sides, and then they've got two other pocket sides where you can probably fit your phone and then other utensils. Like oh, so yeah, you can kind of see like those pockets there. So I've actually got a fair few things in these ones. So I've got some chewing gum. This is just extra with spearmint flavour. Also got just two band-aids then I've also got this iPhone this one actually is flat this is the iPhone I took to America it's not actually my iPhone but it's still got all my photos from America on it and it just lives in there in case I decide I want to charge it and use it but it's got my my travel sim in there and the um, thing says I heart New York but it's pretty much rubbed off and I got this from the 9-11 memorial um, when I went there and so that just lives in my handbag then I've also got the Wonderstruck Taylor Swift perfume which is just a roll on so you can just roll it on like this and on your little palms and go like this and you instantly smell nice Smells so good. Then in the other pocket, I have got some Dettol instant hand sanitizer. Okay, and then I, for some reason, I thought a random supermarket bag, which probably doesn't need to be in there. Chuck that over there. Next thing I've got is my iPad mini. This is my life. Um, not really, but it's just in this red case and looks like this. Oh, I've got a few notifications there. Hello. And that just lives in my uh, handbag. Next thing is, this is my grocery shopping list that I need to do. So, I need to buy some food because there is nothing in this house. Next thing I have are these two pocket tissues. These are just such a cute, like, look at the packaging on that. Like, isn't that just so cute I have another pen next thing I have is two more shopping bags this one is from Typer and this one um, I got for my birthday and these are just really handy if you don't have uh, shopping bags with you like I did in my handbag before like I showed you but also because I kind of like to shop at Aldi a lot recently I've kind of fell, fallen in love with Aldi and they don't provide you with shopping bags, so these become really handy. And this is my purse. This is also from Colette, and it's just got this little blue and creamy beige color. And this actually turns, so you can like look it like that, and then you can do it like this, and opens up like that, and it's got all compartments like this. And for all you American viewers, this is what a $10 and a $5 note looks like. It's colourful and American money is not colourful, which is so boring. Sometimes I, if I'm going out for lunch, like I can just carry this because it's like the perfect size to carry just like that. And I don't need to take my handbag with me. So I really like this. Um, and yeah, as I said before, it's from Colette and... I actually, this was actually my sister's and she got it probably about a year ago, two years ago or something. So I don't know if they still sell these ones like it, but they always have similar styles in store. 
and Colette are really good for purses and bags so I definitely recommend you checking out Colette because they sell good products as I was trying to explain before this just got like a little zip product zip section here and that it will be the last bit so let's see what's in this section I've got this label here which is um, some eyelash brand that I bought from Dezo that I really enjoyed so kind of ripped off the thing just to make sure that I got oh that I got, that I got the right ones again so that's in there and then I've also oh gosh I've got a USB stick in there that's always handy isn't it then I've got these three nail polishes. So this is the Maybelline Color Show just in a white. And then these two here are the Remmel 60 second ones. And they're just, so that's like the red color and then another just a top coat clear color. If I'm on my lunch break, sometimes I will paint my nails. I'm not the only one, don't worry. There are other people who does that in the office. So they're just in there for that reason. And that is everything. My bag is like... Oh, there goes my lipsticks. <laughs> the only bad thing about this handbag is that it doesn't have like a shoulder strap. Otherwise, I think it's a really cute design. I really like the front design. Kind of When I bought it, I kind of initially thought it was... Um, like a Kardashian's collection, that's what was my thought. And it was pretty affordable, I think it was like $30, but I got it ages ago, so I don't know if you would be able to find it in the Colette store. That is my What's in My Bag video. I hope you enjoyed it, and if you did, please give it a thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed to me already, please do, because it makes my day. Don't forget to check out the description bar for all my social media networks, I have Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Snapchat. If, if you want to have a good night and enjoy my face, you can always add me on Snapchat. I send a lot of selfies. Anyway, guys, I really hope you enjoyed this video. Please leave any comments below of anything you like, and I will reply to your comments. So thank you so much for watching once again, and I love you all, and I'll see you soon. Bye!